Is it normal that the crown allows a the um, alleged accuser to be sitting around like this? I will not go to an adult probation officer or a bail supervisor. I've not been convicted or anything. And I'm not agreeing to the psychiatric, psycho psychological counseling or the anger management because I'm not guilty of anything. This also goes against my rights remain under the care of a medical professional or treatment. I'm not under any medical treatment or anything, so I'm not agreeing to that. But I'll, And I agree to the waive the access information. But I have, I am not under any care of any professional or any treatment, so I'm not agreeing to that. The psychiatric and psych psychological counseling and the anger management has nothing to do with this issue because I am not guilty of it. They're withdrawing the charges. So this, these two have nothing to do with this psychiatric management and remain under, that's no problem. This was supposed to be cut down to 10 feet, the 10, 100 meters. Why isn't that not down? Seems not that over. So. I have no issue with the, with the, with the, with, the, with this, but I do have the issue with the 100 meters. That's the same thing I'm going through now. You said 10 feet, I'm willing to grab 10 feet. I'll stay 20 feet away from them in public. I'll stay 20 feet away from them wherever. I have no issues with that, but I'm not agreeing to the 100 feet because that's, that puts me in the same position I am right now, you know? And I'm not registering, I'm not having anything to do with a Cunningham, a dick, Period. Especially Cunningham or a dick. I do have complaints against the both of them that are being by professional standards. I will not be registering anything with the Edmonton police. I never agreed to that. That's your, they're, no. They're taking everything out that whatever and they're exasperating it. Now I'm supposed to register with the Edmonton police um, I'm supposed to register with the Edmonton police. I'm supposed to go see a bail supervisor or a bail or a probation officer when I'm not being convicted of anything. Why do I have to tell them if I'm changing my name and uh, a name or address since I'm not being convicted of anything? Why do I have to agree to a psychological psych advance or anger management if I'm not being convicted of anything? Why do I have to, in this here, remain under the care of a medical professional and take treatment if directed? 
I'm not agreeing to that because I'm not under any medical professional or treatment and I'm not going to be forced into it. I agree to all this except for the 100 meters and the, I'd say 20 meters all around would fix everything, wouldn't it? 20 feet all around? Yeah. Public, I won't go 20 feet by their house. That gives me enough time to walk across the street to go to my dog park and everything. So 20 feet, I'll agree, 20 feet all around. I will not go 20 feet by his house. 20 feet is the distance between me and Jason Elliott's house because we're two doors down or three doors away. So 20 feet works great with me. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll deal with... The and then I'm, not, I'm definitely not agreeing to registering anything with the Edmonton Police. 